Okay, so a lot of customers wonder what are the differences between the different types of cue that you would use for either playing pool or snooker. So in this video, I'm going to take you through the specific differences between an English pool cue, a snooker cue, and an American nine ball cue. And I'll take you through the differences between the different types that you'd use and why you'd want to use one of those for that particular game. So the first we're going to look at then is actually not look at cues, we're going to look at balls because that's what makes the difference for the type of cue that you need to use. So we've got three different cue balls here. So what are they? So we've got an English eight ball uh, cue ball. So this is one and seven eighths of an inch in size. Next up then in size, we go to a snooker ball. Uh, so this is a snooker cue ball. So it's two and one sixteenth of an inch in size. And then we've got our American cue ball and that is two and one quarter of an inch in size. So you can see there's quite a difference in the size there and that's what decides what type of cue you need to use because of that size and, and the, the corresponding weight of the ball. So I've got three cues here. It's a bit difficult to sort of hold them all up and show you those, um, but hopefully we pick that up in close up. Um, and it's that that dictates the size of the tip on the cue and really the structure of the cue. So if we start off with the English uh, eight ball cue, it's really the, the cue shaft and the tip is designed for the smaller size cue ball. So there's our cue ball and there's our tip and shaft. So generally speaking, we're sort of talking about eight to nine mil in size. It's quite a thin tip. And, and the reason that you use that is because it gives you greater control over the cue ball. You wouldn't want to use that for American pool purely because it's so thin. Um, it just doesn't have the strength. If you're looking at the size of this to be able to consistently play American pool with that without damaging your cue probably. So you could probably play a few games, but it's, it's, it isn't ideal. So there's your English cue. Next up, we go then to our snooker cue. Um, and we've got our two and one sixteenth of an uh, inch size cue ball. And the general tip size on this is about sort of nine and a half to 10 millimeters in size. You can see the sort of tip there. You've got the ferrule, which is uh, on this one, it's in stainless steel. The tip, by the way, is made out of leather. It's the same on all the different cues that we do. There always has a leather tip. Then you'll have a ferrule and then you'll have the shaft of the cue. Um, as I say, sort of nine and a half, 10 millimeter thick um, tip. Some, some players do prefer to go for a larger size tip. They might go up to say an 11 mil, but generally sort of nine and a half to 10 mil is the size. Just quickly while I'm on these two types of cue, you'll notice that they're both made out of the same wood. So they both use ash um, as their main constituent. And these two, I picked these two actually, just to show you the differences here, is that the eight ball cue I've got is a two piece cue and that's where it joins in the middle. So you can see the brass joint there. Let's just put that one down so you can sort of see. You've got brass joint there where it comes apart. So that's a two piece cue, splits in the middle. Quite convenient for putting into a case. Obviously your case ends up being shorter. Um, but very popular now are these three quarter um, cues, which it sort of splits further down. You can see why it's called a three quarter um, cue there. And it splits much more near the, the, the base of the cue. Then lastly, then let's have a look at the American cube, just while we're looking at how they split. That's where this one splits. So most American cubes will always split in the middle. Um, and this one is actually made out of maple. So you'll notice that it doesn't have the prominent grain that an ash cube has in either snooker or eight ball English pool. This is made out of maple. Um, you still see the grain there, but it's, it's, a, much, um, it's a much fainter, lighter wood uh, in there. And you can see here, uh, the big difference is that you've got this large plastic ferrule on here, and that is because of the weight of the, the cue ball. When you're striking it, um, it takes a little bit of the shock, if you like, as you play through the ball because it's got the plastic ferrule. Again, it's got a, a, a specially treated leather tip there. Um, and these are about 13 mil in size. So 13 mil is the tip size you're going to get on an American cue. And you can see why it's that sort of size when it corresponds to the cue ball. Okay, so hopefully now you know the right type of cue to pick up for the relevant game that you're going to be playing. We do find that quite a few customers when they come to the showroom, they're not really too sure which cue to pick up depending upon which table they're going to be playing on. So if you watch this guide, you're now an expert, you now know what you're looking at. If you're interested in, the, there are more, loads more differences between English and American pool. Uh, and we've got an extensive video that takes you through every single piece there. We do cover off the sizes of the cue balls in that and the types of cues that are used, but loads more info. So it's worth checking that out if you're interested in the differences in the tables as well as the differences in the cues.